Okay, I'm going to be honest with you. I have had some real issues with my sound while streaming. Game sounds would drown out my voice, loud noises would deafen my viewers, and background noises kept invading my stream. But now I have none of that, and I'm going to tell you how I did it. Hi everyone, my name is Inwills. I'm a streamer and content creator from the United Kingdom. I have to start off this video by saying that I am no expert with sound, but what I've managed to do is watch enough videos to sort out the sound on my own channel. And I thought if I could get rid of those issues, then anybody could. So I thought I would share it with you. So if you find this helpful, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to the channel. And if you don't, well, thank you for watching. Now I use OBS to Studio to stream with, but I am sure there will be similar controls in other streaming software. In order to apply anything that I'm talking about in this video, you need to have the relevant audio source in your audio mixer. And then what you can do is come down to that source, right click and choose the option for filters. Once this is up, you can go down to the bottom of that um, window and press add to add a filter to it. So the first two filters that I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply to my microphone audio source here. So I'm going to right click this and go to filters, which is slightly off screen at the moment, but you'll know where it is. And here we have the um, filters. Now you can see I've got two filters on here already. Just to remind you that you would go down to this dialog box and add and then choose the filter that you would like. So let me explain to you what the filters I have on my microphone actually do. So this first one is a limiter. And what that means is that any sound that goes above minus six decibels will actually be capped. So this is really important when you are doing loud noises or you scream or whatever, your audience is not going to get deafened because of this limiter. And you can change this threshold by um, moving the, um, the slider backwards and forwards, or you can just use these arrow keys here to dial in the exact limiter that you want. Now the other um, filter I have here is a noise gate and feel free to copy down my settings here. I'm not saying that these will be perfect for everyone, but these are the ones that I use. Now, to be honest with you, a noise gate, how I see noise gate, and I'm not a sound expert here, I'm a streamer, but what I see noise gate is, is the amount of background noise that we can remove. And how I actually arranged this was that I actually put the filter on and watched my, um, my levels and kept sort of like adjusting it. So when I wasn't talking, there was no movement in those levels at all. And this is how I came up with that open and closed threshold. So what a noise gate does in my head is that it actually reduces those background noises that you don't want to be on your stream. So basically, um, when I stop talking and I'm quiet, it's not picking up any other background noise. So these two um, filters, audio filters, are on my uh, microphone and then I have some on every sound. So here's my Guild Wars and I'm just going to go down to filters um, again. So you can see that the filter I have on here is ducking and what ducking does is that it reduces the game sound or any other sound in OBS when I start to talk. So as soon as I start to talk, um, the um, Guild Wars 2 sound, because this is the channel that I'm on, the source that I'm on, 
will drop down so you can hear me but as soon as I stop talking it will go up to its normal levels so one thing that is really important here is this bottom one that says sidechain or ducking source so you need to make sure in here in this little sort of like drop down that you have the source that you your microphone selected there now to be honest with you i nicked these settings off somebody else on the youtube and they seem to work absolutely fine for me so by all means stop the video now and take these settings down and have a go now the other thing i quickly want to show you here is that if you're like me and you've got lots of audio sources then you need to apply this ducking to all those sources and this is really easy to do if you right click on the filter and then um, go down to copy okay and then what you can do is go to this next one along this is my star field um, audio channel if i right click and call up the filters i'll bring it down for you there then you can just right click in this space and paste and that will paste that setting from the previous um, channel into there um, I don't actually need this so I'm just going to make sure it's highlighted and come down to the bottom and press um, I'll just move it up a bit press um, subtract and it will go um, also just while we're here if you ever want to um, stop a filter uh, or remove it I would suggest not deleting it unless you're sure you can actually just click this um, icon here this little eye icon and that will turn it off the channel but I need to make sure this is on so I'll turn it back on and then click close once I'd added those filters to my audio mixer sources um, my I found that my sound quality increased so much and I was so so pleased about it so I went from having a disastrous sound um, for my streams to something that I'm really quite proud of don't forget I produce videos like this about successful streaming strategies every week so do subscribe and come back and find some more helpful tips and also don't forget on Sundays I release and share a interesting twitch clip that has happened in my streaming so go and check those out as well anyway Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and providing your support. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all again real soon. See ya. Bye.